um, quick updates from future me. Yes, this tutorial has uh, fixed the IK uh, placement of food for metahumans. So check it. Hello guys. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the metahuman. So I've covered, I guess, six lessons on different camera angles, uh, camera adjustments, so you can make your game more immersive. And uh, once we talk about the immersive gameplay, it couldn't be done without a uh, high quality asset. And uh, you may know that MetaHuman uh, is free for all Unreal Engine users and it has a variety of adjustments for the face, for the posture, for animations. Uh, now we have uh, some variety of uh, clothes and so on. So, uh, but uh, once you've downloaded the MetaHuman and put it inside your project, you may notice that uh, this character uh, may not be used as the playable one. So, uh, thankfully to the City Sample project, once I start uh, researching it, I found that um, MetaHuman Skeleton uh, actually supports the Mannequin uh, hierarchy. So basically all you need to do is to reassign the MetaHuman uh, Skeletal Mesh to the Mannequin Skeleton and do little uh, changes to it so you can uh, use MetaHuman as the playable character. So once you are inside your project, you need to uh, find at the top taskbar, the button, quickly add to the project. Here you may select the Quixel Bridge once you've enabled this plugin inside your plugins. And uh, you may find the MetaHumans category here. So basically it's the templates that comes as the predefined one and you may use any of them to be the template for your own MetaHuman as I did. But you may notice one thing, once you select any of them, so here, you may find that you can only use as highest quality. But once you've made your own MetaHuman, like I have this Elijah, here I can select low quality, medium quality and highest quality. I press add. Let's wait for everything to be loaded and then we need to enable uh, all the missing plugins and restart our editor. So, once you've done everything, uh, also restarting project with all those plugins, like the room component and so on, uh, will require to uh, recompile nearly 4000 shaders, so it might take some time. But now you may see we have the MetaHuman uh, folder with our character. So here is Elijah, and that's how it looks. So basically, all we need to have here is our body with all the hierarchy of other scalable meshes. Face also comes with the groom components like eyelashes, fuzz, and so on, and the long silk. So this one component helps us to dynamically change the uh, level of details of our character. So take a look, I will try to make it slowly. That's our load zero, load one. You may see changes into the face and the beard. So this one is derived from the actor and our character basically is our character. I suggest you to copy paste the structure of uh, our Elijah, as I have in this example, uh, to be used inside your uh, player character. In our character, mesh, is the one single skeletal mesh. It's the root for everything else. And in our metahuman, body is the root, and because this one is the modular character, other skeletal meshes like feet, legs, torso, and the face is placed uh, to be the children of uh, the body parent. So, first of all, we select feet, up to the face, expand face, select the groom components, and the load sync. Copy-paste back to our 
uh, third person character. Next thing is to adjust everything to be in the proper hierarchy. So, feet, legs, face, and torso inside the mesh. Now it looks the same as we have it in our metahuman. The only thing we need to do, we need to adjust the translation and also change the skeletal mesh of our uh, root component. So, first of all, translation. Select everything and set location to zero and rotation to zero. Next, go back to our metahuman and select the body. Here we may find the skeletal mesh that it uses. And now go back to our character and simply change it. Like this. As I said previously, um, MetaHuman and the Manic Queen Skeleton share the same hierarchy and the uh, ball names, so we can retarget or reassign the MetaHuman Skeletal Mesh to be used for the Manic Queen. For this, we need to select all of them and simply reassign it. And we'll start with the mesh. So here, press on this folder and you may find the scale mesh that it uses and reassign it to the SK Money Queen. Make sure that you select Money Queen, but not Money Queen Skeleton, because uh, the last one is for the Unreal Engine 4. It might uh, be missing a few bones, but uh, it will handle it itself. So press accept and OK. Next for our torso. Next for our feet. And for our legs. We don't do this for our face because it uses its own animation blueprint. Next thing, because this character is the modular one and uh, the animation blueprint is assigned to the whole skeleton, we need to make uh, the scalar mesh that are the children of our mesh here to know the transform that it uh, should be using once we have an animation uh, blueprint applied to it. So, go to the construction script, drag and drop torso, feet and legs. Next thing is the mesh and search for set master pose. Our target will be all of those components and the new master pose is our mesh. Go back to the viewports, select our mesh and change the animation blueprint to be the one that uses uh, by default, it's the ABP many. Press compile and now you'll see that we have our animation applied to our character. There is one thing left, it's inside the control rig, so let's do it. Also, you need to save files, but I don't really recommend to resave all of them, it's unnecessary. You only need to choose the one that you need, and that's our scalar meshes and our skeleton. All other changes will be applied once you've restart your editor. The last part of this tutorial is kind of fix uh, very common uh, metahuman issue with the foot placement and IK. So if you take a look at our uh, default many queen skeleton, you may see that we have IK foot root and uh, our 
scaly meshes that is used as the root for our metahuman here lacks this bone. So this bone exists only on the skeleton, but not on the current mesh, which leads to the issues with the placement and animation once we retarget the metahuman to the default scaly mesh, default scaly uh, tone. So to deal with this, we need to create uh, the virtual bones. And uh, we do this not inside our mesh, but inside our skeleton. So all other meshes that uses the skeleton will have uh, this problem fixed. For this, we need to add the virtual bone to be the root. So like this one, let's rename it to AK root roots and add uh, two more bones for each of our IK for our leg left and right. Like this, foot, root, foot left and foot right. Next, we need to go to our um, control rig, which uses uh, IK bones to trace over the mesh. And on the intersection, it applies calculation to make IK placement work. You may find it here. So characters, many queens, rigs, basic foot IK. And here we have three uh, places where we need to switch default IK foot to our virtual bones. But before we do this, we need to update our control rig with the updated version of the skeleton. So uh, select rig hierarchy, select root, refresh and our default skeleton. It's our queen. SKM queen. So once done, you may see that we have the AK foot root here with our virtual bones for our legs. So here, AK foot left, we go with the VB foot left, VB foot right. Next, here, this one, this one, let me check, yeah, only, and here. Not the left, but the right. So once I press compile and I launch the game, you may see that we have our character with the animation, we can walk, we can jump, and once we start walking over the ramp, you may see we have the proper IK foot placement, even from this perspective. So IK works as it should. So as always, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos. I have Patreon, I have the membership for the YouTube, you may find the link uh, under this video and see you soon guys.